Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of March 14th through the 20th. On Monday, the card that you guys have coming up is the Ten of Clubs in Reverse. Ten of Clubs in Reverse is telling me that on Monday you are putting down some kind of responsibility. So this can be that maybe normally on Monday you would be taking your child to some kind of musical instrument practice and for whatever reason they don't have practice that night. Um, this can be um, backing out of a relationship or taking a relationship back down a notch. Um, this can be um, just really anything that talks about having responsibilities and stepping out of some kind of responsibility. So this can be um, a responsibility that you're stepping out of, um, that you have the choice to stay in, or this could be a responsibility that it just comes up that you don't need to hold that up on Monday. So lots and lots and lots of different ways that this can manifest for your cancers. And I do feel like there are uh, many, many different ways that they're coming in for different ones of you. So just the bottom line there is some kind of responsibility that you're putting down on Monday that you're not carrying. Now, Tuesday, you guys have the Ace of Cups showing up in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse is just telling me there's somebody who is showing you your, their true colors on Tuesday. And... Um, to me, it feels like this person is probably somebody that you have on a pedestal, Cancers, that you've kind of thought, well, they always do everything right. They're so perfect, blah, 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 whatever it is you think about them. And then something happens on Tuesday and that whole little fantasy comes crashing down. You realize, oh my gosh, this person is just as human as me, just as fallible as me, has flaws, just like I have flaws. They're not on that pedestal anymore. Okay, so that's Tuesday. Wednesday, what we have coming up is a fantastic card. This is the Magician. This is telling me that on Wednesday you're really feeling abundant. Um, you're feeling like you have everything that you need to create what you actually want in your life. You have all those resources needed to do that. Um, this can also be about gaining some new spiritual insight too that has to do with prosperity, that has to do with abundance, that has to do with creating what you want out of what you have. So you're either in a place where you're feeling really good about your resources and how you can make them into what you want them to be, or you've got this whole new insight on your resources and how you can make them what they want to be. Really tied together. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Thursday. Queen of Clubs coming up for you guys. Queen of Clubs is just telling me this is somebody that you're going to be interacting with on Thursday. She is someone who is um, more experienced and she is more nurturing. She is very creative. She thinks outside the box. She may very well have her own business. She definitely does her own thing on the side, whether she does it for money or she does it out of love. This could be somebody who sews um, nursery kits for people who are having babies in the neighborhood or somebody who makes a business out of um, doing paintings or some other kind of artistic something or other. Um, but I feel like you're interacting with this person on Thursday. To me, this interaction just feels like a lot of fun. I feel like you guys are just sharing some ideas back and forth. And she has some really, because she thinks outside the box, she has some really outlandish ideas that you haven't really thought of before. And I think um, when they first hit you, um, they're just hilarious. Uh, but then after you start thinking about them, you start thinking, you know, that came across as hilarious, but maybe... That's a really a usable idea. So interesting conversation you're going to be having with this person on Thursday. Now Friday, what you have coming up is you have the King of Coins in reverse. King of Coins in reverse just means somebody's trying to get money from you. They're trying to shake you down. They're trying to get, get you to spend money on something that maybe is not even what you think you're spending money on. For me, this is kind of like... Um, you know, a scam or a con man. This is somebody coming in and saying, you know, if you give me money, I'll spend it on, you know, sending my kid to school or buying them books or whatever. And in reality, you're giving them money and they're going out and they're buying, I don't know, they're buying alcohol or they're buying lottery tickets or who knows what. Uh, but they're definitely not helping their kid go to school with it. <laughs> 
or in some cases this is a situation where some of the money actually does go where this person tells you it's going to go but not all of it and that person knows darn good well not all of it's going to go there they just don't happen to divulge that to you so be very aware on Friday if you feel like sharing any of your finances with anybody around you or sharing any of your resources with anybody around you. If somebody approaches you for that, um, you know, just be very aware. Do your due diligence. Make sure it's going where you think it's going, especially if that type of stuff is important to you. If you're someone that, you know, it's fine, people can do whatever, once they hand them the money, it's theirs, you know, not such a big deal. But if you're somebody that expects people to do what they say they're going to with your resources once you turn them over to them, be careful about who you're turning things over to on Friday. Saturday, we have the lover's card showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that there is some partnership in your life and this can be a romantic partnership but not necessarily this can be a partnership at work or friends that um, partner together and do something um, doesn't even have to be something for money but if you guys work together to accomplish some goal um, there's some kind of partnership that is going backwards instead of forwards on Saturday so there's some kind of disagreement or stalemate that comes up um, with one of the partnerships that you're involved in on Saturday cancer um, and I do want to remind everybody, this is a general reading, so not everything that I see here is going to apply to every single cancer. I do ask Sacred Spirit that everything apply to the majority, but obviously not everybody can be in the majority all the time. <laughs> so um, not everything is going to apply to you. And then the other thing I want you to know is that free will is involved. Free will is a huge player. So if you get some of these forecasts early and you hear something that you're not that thrilled about coming into your life, you can make some decisions that will change um, how that comes in or even if that thing comes in that you don't want to come into your life. So free will is a big player. That's kind of the nice thing about getting these ahead of time is the things that you want to adjust. You have that opportunity. So anyway, um, there's that public service announcement. Let's move on to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Okay, so Sunday, you Cancers have the Strength card in reverse. Strength in reverse is just telling me Sunday that you're kicking yourself in the butt for something that you really shouldn't be kicking yourself in the butt for. <laughs> to sum it up. Uh, the strength card just means you're being really hard on yourself. A lot of times when I see the strength card, it is over something that you really didn't have any control over and you're still blaming yourself for the outcome. Or maybe you had minimal control and you're still blaming yourself. And in most cases when this comes up, the person who's kicking themselves in the butt, they did the best that they possibly could. Many times what's going on is somebody else is telling them, if you would have done this, if you would have done that, had you thought about this, had you thought about that. Well, if you actually look back at the situation and the circumstances and the information that you had at the time, you were doing the best that you possibly could. <laughs> Don't listen to those people, okay? Don't listen to people that want to tear you down. You were doing the best you could. Quit kicking yourself in the butt. Go ahead and get a different perspective. Look at this from a more real reality-based perspective and then just move on don't dwell on it okay kicking yourself in the butt does not help you and it does not help that other person that's telling you it's all your fault either doesn't help anybody so that is your week cancer thank you so much for stopping by for hanging out liking sharing subscribing and commenting i do appreciate all of your support everyone have a fantastic week i will see you back here the next time peace out